In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add character expressions to a Unity dialog system that I've made uh, and featured in previous videos, which I'll link below. Uh, but yeah, one of the most common requests that I get is one to share the code, which I uh, will be doing with this video. Apologies, uh, but it's going to be running on an older version of Unity just because I started this a couple years ago. But uh, most of the code should still apply. Um, and then the other main question I got was, yeah, like how do we, uh, how do you take this dialogue system where you're just showing like one, two people talking back and forth, and have them be able to show different expressions? Uh, this is a really common thing you see in pretty much any RPG or um, you know action game, or really any game that has dialogue. You want to be able to like switch between um, different character moods or expressions. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty simple tweak to what I've already made, but uh, let's just run through it here in Unity. So I'm going to switch over to show uh, Unity here. And um, what we'll see here when I run this is if I hit spacebar, it's going to start the conversation. And you can see the general setup is we got a speaker on the left, a name, and some dialogue. And then if I hit space again, it's going to switch speakers. Or actually, just it's just going to run through all the lines of dialogue, regardless of who's um, saying them. So. Um, at this point, we have a choice, and then if I choose something, it's going to load the dialogue for this case. And then when it's done, it's going to go away. Um, and so the general setup we have, um, a, a lot of this is covered on the, the videos of how this worked previously, but I'm just going to show you what's relevant uh, for adding these um, different reactions. So um, for any given conversation, uh, we're going to have a speaker on the left and a speaker on the right. And there's going to be just a bunch of lines of dialogue. Um, you know, well, there has to be at least one, but there can be more. And for each line of dialogue, we need to know like who the character is that's speaking. And then we want to see what the text is that we want to display. And the thing that's new here is this mood dropdown. And you can see it's got two options right now. So neutral is just going to be the default. Um, and we're just going to load whatever the default portrait is for the character. But if we choose this angry option, what we're going to do is we're going to have an additional portrait on the character that's for when they're angry. And we'll just use this value here to pick uh, that other portrait. Um, so you can see in this situation, the third line of dialogue is for Chun-Li and uh, the mood set to angry. And I'll show you how um, all this comes together here. So if we look, for example, at Chun-Li over here in the images, you can see under characters, she has both an angry sprite and a normal sprite. And you could clean this up further and make like a folder for each character that has like a neutral, angry, and whatever other expressions you want to have sprite um, just to keep the names consistent. But um, this is a good starting point. So um, these are just the sprites. So we need to actually do something with the sprites. So up here, um, we've got these scriptable objects for each character. And um, this character is Chun-Li. She has a regular portrait, which is um, which you can just get by dragging uh, the sprite over to here to portrait. And then the angry portrait also um, you can just drag over to the portrait angry uh, field here, and that's what's going to set the sprite for um, either of those. And um, the way we set up this property is we want to go look at um, the code for the scriptable object for character. And you can see I've just added an, a second sprite here that's um, portrait angry. And that's going to let us use the Unity editor to, to drop in um, the sprite there. And then basically what we we'll want to do is um, when, we, when we're when we setting speakers um, for like the speaker UI, um, I just want to add essentially another um, property here that has a setter. So you know, notice I've added mood and uh, we'll look at this mood enum in a minute. But um, Basically what we're going to want to do is we're going to say we need to get a sprite. Uh, if the value being passed into mood here 
is equal to mood.angry, then we're going to grab the speaker's uh, portrait angry. So that's the um, value that we set in the inspector by dragging the sprite over for the angry sprite. And then otherwise, we just want to use the default one. So we're just assuming it's um, basically the, you know, the neutral or default or whatever. Um, and this is the value that uh, we used previously in the other uh, videos in this series. And then down here, finally, we just say uh, for the portrait, set the sprite to uh, whatever the sprite was that we selected here. And now the other thing we need to look at is this mood enum. So at the top of define uh, public mood mood. And this is just going to let us choose that like neutral or angry. And the value for that is, um, sorry, the enum for that is going to set somewhere else. We could potentially move it around, but in conversation, um, I just created a public enum here that has two values, neutral and angry. And um, for each line, we're going to have a public mood value that is of type uh, th this uh, mood enum. And then that's what gives us for free, we just get that drop down that shows neutral or angry in the editor. So for each line, we can choose from these values. And then when we um, actually go to run through the lines of dialogue, uh, we're going to have to set the mood, which is something that uh, we weren't previously doing. So under display line, uh, previously we were just getting the uh, line of the conversation, <clears throat> which character we had, looking at whether um, that character is on the left or the right, and then depending on which um, position they were in, we do a set dialog, and we send in the text for the dialog. So the new thing here is um, if we're on the left speaker, we set the mood to be whatever the value is for a line.mood. And then if they're on the right, we're going to um, set the mood on the right speaker. And, um, you know, we could do something like uh, something, something that could be a little cleaner here is we don't just care about lines text now. We actually care about like the whole line. So um, we could potentially move that to set dialogue. Let me see what that looks like. Um, yeah, we could give it a go. Let's see if that works. So we're going to maybe change this from uh, text to be a line. And then here we would want to do line dot text and then we could remove this from up here and then put it down here so where we're doing like active speaker UI we could do I think active speaker dot mood is equal to line dot mood. Let's see what we get with that. May work, may not. All right, cannot convert from string to line. So that's on line 74 and 77. Oh, okay, so we need to actually pass the line instead of just uh, the text. Makes sense. And then once again, we'll see what we get in Unity. Okay, looks like those errors went away. So let's try it one more time. So we'll run it, and then um, we'll step through some dialogue here. Yeah, so it looks like that worked. Um, and that's a little bit cleaner than what I had in there. Um, so yeah, this was just a quick um, tutorial on how to set these expressions. Um, if you know, in a real game, you might also have, um, not just have static sprites, but like animations where you want to do this, but the setup would be basically the same. You would just change the, um, I think you would just change the type of thing you're setting from like, you know, 
being a sprite to whatever your animation is and then just playing that here. And yeah, with this, you can do any number of expressions you want. Uh, you just have to make sure uh, that you're you're setting them in that enum. So if you wanted to add more, you could add more to this enum here. And then you would just need to update the place where you check uh, the mood uh, to include those. So you might, um, yeah, you would basically just want to like add cases to this to figure out uh, what the right, you know, right, what the right thing is to show based on the mood. Um, and there's probably some way you could set up an automatic mapping between the moods and the property name for the sprite, but um, it's, it's not worth getting into for this video. <laughs> so anyway, hope that was helpful. And I will um, also share the files for this project finally after I, I know too long uh, having not shared them. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you watching this video and uh, hope you have a good day.